Uh, good morning, everyone. Uh, pastors in the city of Fresno. My name is Pastor uh, Edward Coleman, and I want to welcome you to the uh, Winchell neighborhood. Uh, I'm the pastor of the Paraclete Missionary Baptist Church, and I've been here now for seven years serving this community. My name is Joe White, and I'm a pastor of a church called Neighborhood Church, which is just a few blocks away, right next to the Winchell neighborhood. Uh, the Jackson neighborhood is eight blocks by 12 blocks and 923 homes, and our two neighborhoods are divided by the same street, Ventura. Well, Vision 22 has really uh, excite, been exciting to me because of the fact that I learned how to communicate with other pastors in trying to reach my and neighborhood. I've come to realize that there's no version of well-being for the city of Fresno that doesn't include the well-being of the Winchell neighborhood and the Jackson neighborhood. Our whole goal and purpose is to uh, make the city of Fresno a better place uh, to live uh, for the communities and for the people in the neighborhood. I think that's the truth about Fresno. Great things come out of real relationships. And so for the last year, we've had to work on our life. And out of that has come some interesting things. Like we've discovered that maybe the end goal is not just a deeper relationship, but maybe the end goal is a deeper impact. And that's when we begin to imagine what would life look like if our churches were united in some important ways that could impact Winchell and Jackson. Well, one of the fruits of this ministry that I've been doing, uh, especially at Winchell Elementary School, I've had several, maybe five or six children come and join the church. And in the process, the parents came and became members of Paraclete Missionary Baptist Church. And we end up baptizing both the parent and the children. So to me, that's my whole goal behind all this, showing the love of Jesus Christ and introducing them to my Savior, Jesus. Our, our culture is, finds every single way to divide um, each other from one another. And Ed and I are different in almost every way. And yet, uh, our, our, the story of our neighborhood is the same. And so we've said, what if we actually made the neighborhood the focus? What, what if we made the well-being of our neighborhoods the focus? And what if we figured out how to work together given our denominational, theological, ethnic, and even life experience differences? What if we work inside of that reality for the well-being of a neighborhood, putting that at the center? And we've decided that we're both invested in Vision 22. And we've discovered that there's beauty and, and goodness in that decision.